Alright, greetings fellow humans. I was playing Kerbal Space Program a little bit recently. So what I got ready is this little seaplane here. Just a second for it to load. Right, so we are headed for Jebediah. I landed with this plane on water. I mean, I depleted most of my fuel trying to get into orbit, unsuccessfully that is, because I wasted most, not most, but over half of my fuel trying to take off from the water before figuring out that I have to disable my part of my fins on the back. Might be easier to show when it's actually flying. It's what I've got installed is this mod called Scatterer, which gives you these beautiful reflections on the ocean and and some other features, like mostly atmospheric effects and similar stuff and terrain shadows. All these improvements, well by changing the geometry of the water it needs to be a little bit above the native KSP simulated uh, water level you might have had a glimpse of the wheel system down there when it clipped through the water there sometimes well anyway it's it's not really submerged there you can see the wheels now pretty well. It's actually sitting on top of the wheels. The wheels are sitting like on the surface of the water. The, the rendered water, the one you see with the fancy reflections, is not physical water. The physical water is sitting at the wheel level. So that's how the whole thing is floating. We are slowly approaching Jebediah. Might actually increase speed a little bit for that. An acceleration, perhaps. Hi. I am back. What? Yes, we are approaching indeed. If I start pitching up, I might be actually able to lift my nose up because I've got the. Yes, because of the fins on the front wheel there. Oh look, there is Jebediah. We should actually break or something. Or try to steer. Jebediah <laughs> needs to catch them now. Which would be easier if the plane wouldn't be moving away. The plane needs to rotate a bit more. This is too fast for Jeb. I'm not sure what it sounds are, but... Hmm. Oh well. Alright, now that we are almost stationary, Jeff can try to catch up. Might take a little while, I'll speed it up.
We are very close now. Should be next to the ladder which is already extended. Oh well. I should be able to grab the ladder. Yes. Oh, what's going on with his head? Hey, he looks a bit crooked. It's not very good. What's going on there, Jeb? Well, to be fair, he did fall from over like 10 kilometers, well, 45 kilometers to be precise. So, being a little crooked is perfectly understandable. But it would be good if he could board this plane. Ah, no, please keep your head on your neck, Jeb. It would be preferable. If only he could get inside somehow. Well, he's still getting inside. That's not very good. Come on, Jeb. Oh, well. Something's not quite right. Well, either way. I, I don't think this is gonna work. One, one more attempt and then we'll just fly without Jeb. Come on, Jeb. Stop, stop, stop doing this kind of stuff and climb up. Nah, it's not that thing. Yeah, he's all crooked. It does not. Hmm. Well, I think Jeb's not going anywhere now. We might need to leave him behind, or we can try to take off with him on the ladder and see if he can hold on. If he can, then well, good on him. If not, then oh well, he survived fall from 45 k's. That sh so so he should probably survive. A lot of stuff. Well, never mind. Let's go. SAS is not available, as expected, because pilot is not on board. He's hanging on the ladder. So, full throttle. The afterburner on and help with the with these engines, these rapier engines. Now, what will happen? I will start lifting my nose. And the wing legs on the front should start lifting the nose above the water. Whereas the wing winglets on the back, they have control disabled so that they don't push it further down. Which was my problem for half of this fuel tank. So now I can disable the auxiliary engines and the afterburner and fly just around like so. I could find land and try landing with my gear. But I'm afraid I might be too far off because I try to reach orbit and that takes you quite far away, especially if you don't make it. Well, even if you do. Hmm, where are we? Ah, we don't want to crash. Yeah, no, 
Uh, that does not look good. We are in the middle of the ocean. I think we will just revert this flight. Where is Jebediah, by the way? Is he still hanging on? Or did we lose him? He's still hanging on. Hold on, Jebediah. We'll save you. Well, we'll try to. Anyway. Come on, Jebediah. You can do it. He's not making it. Well, we could technically get this home. We have more than. Yes, sir. Oh, well, anyway, I think we could get this home. We have more than enough fuel. But we probably will not. We will just reverse this flight. First of all, I think I will remove these weak engines because they might be efficient, but they can't really power me to high speeds. I need to either use the afterburner, which is not really that much efficient, it's actually less efficient than this very efficient engine, I think. Well, very powerful rather than efficient engine, I should say. Oh look, it's so big. Means I can move this whole assembly further back, the wings and stuff. Where is the center of mass? Eh, it should be more or less okay. Or should I just put rapiers in there? Well, I do want this to be capable of just atmospheric flight without really using rocket engines. How efficient was the ISP of this one? 4000 as opposed to 3200. Well, that's not really that much of a difference. Refueling stations on light. I don't know. I don't know. What's more expensive? Oh well, I'll put these jet engines in there. It will be fine. She'll be right. Delta V should be more than sufficient to actually get up there. Let's just not forget to configure so one was previously associated for uh, well it was for the afterburner which we don't have anymore because this is engine powerful just by itself and two was toggle engine right did we want anything else yes we wanted to disable these because we don't want them for... Uh, I don't know, Raw might be useful. Right, and... That worked. Uh, it didn't. Yeah. If you do symmetry on a symmetrical part, it might not do all these actions correctly, but... Seems to be going rather well. Right. 
might try to reach in orbit. a little bit when it falls in. oh yes sir. it wobbles a little bit when it falls on the back wheel right so enable the jet and see how it goes if that does not give us enough power we can enable the auxiliary engines engines we have a lot of speed to shed we have 200 meters per second and I usually land it at not more than 50 oh well some aggressive braking 10 G's that would not be comfortable but, but survivable very survivable still now we are down to 120 we should lose more speed. This is a certified landing procedure, so wobble up and down until you lose enough velocity to actually land. speed limit for landing is but I know that it can tip forward quite a bit without destroying itself that's why the front landing gear is so far forward I also installed air brakes on the back 
they should help me land, but I don't usually use them too much because it's just they take too long to deploy and by the time they are fully deployed I'm usually stopped by the water anyway. Well anyway, we are slowing down nicely. Horizontal sorry vertical speed is just one meter per second. Might actually flare up a little bit before the actual touchdown to shut off the speed just a little. And I think we are going for a touchdown soon. And here we go. Back wheel and front wheel. Oops, something exploded. Ah, well, this is not a desirable outcome, but I mean, it's survivable. We lost the front wheel, so, well, that's certainly unfavorable. We lost the air intakes, so we can't really continue using air breathing mode. We would have to use a closed cycle engine. Like so. But given that we lost the fins on the front loader and the wheel, we are not likely we are likely not going to lift the nose up sufficiently. And the drag will be too high, so I think this mission is doomed. We need to tow it home or something. The velocity is not increasing sufficiently fast. This is not going anywhere. Well, so much for that. Well, I get. I hope you get the idea. So. Yeah, I might try to get it into a bit later. Well, be good.